What's going on everyone? Darian here with Live at 5. Let's try this again. So I was getting an error message from Facebook saying that the frames per second were, were too low. I don't know. Might have been from the lighting with this camera. Uh, good thing we're not going to have to worry about that for much longer. We've got a new, new Sony that we're going to be trying out. 4K, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, so tonight, I'm going to spend the next five or six minutes only talking about your gift, okay? Because we all have one. Sometimes it takes longer than others to find out what it is. That's why it's like trial and error. You need to try different things and you eventually find out what you're good at, what you like, what your, what your passion is, what gets you fired up. You know, every morning when you get up, it's like, okay, cool, guess what? I'm gonna go do this right now because I am freaking so excited that I get to do this. My son, Alark, as much as I didn't like it at the time, he started hockey this year. And he was somebody that always said, oh, my feet hurt. I don't wanna walk, I don't wanna do this. I wanna stay and play games and electronics and, and different things. So I'm like, dude, you're probably not gonna like hockey because it's a lot of hard work. And guess what? He's crushing it, making a lot of friends. And when we start looking back at successful people, okay? The definition of success isn't a dollar amount. Throw that right out the window. It doesn't matter how much money you have. There's a lot of people that are very successful that aren't super wealthy because it depends on how you value money and what you're doing with it. And some people don't need it or need as much of it. I shouldn't say don't need it at all. For example, we look at Connor McDavid. Can you imagine if Connor McDavid went and tried to play football? Clearly that probably would not work out the same way as it is for him playing hockey. He's one of the lucky ones. At an early age, he was able to define who he was, what he was all about, where his passion was, something that got him fired up. Um, Axel Rose, GNR, Guns N' Roses. I know I'm aging myself here, but whatever. It is what it is. No matter how much they partied and did all the things that other people like to go and make judgments on. He's still successful. He's one of the Motley crew. They're coming to Edmonton after being banned from life back in the 80s. Do you think that they care about what most people's opinions are, the negative opinions? No. They focus on what they're good at. They built up a dream so freaking big that they couldn't fail. No matter what they did, they could not fail. Steve Jobs is another one. He built up something so big in his imagination where everything that he did, which I'm, I'm certain, I've read a lot of his biographies and watched movies and everything else, that even where he, he finished before he passed away, he still was just getting started. The vision that, that he had in his mind. So that's where it's important to remember the circle that you're, you're in and the circle that you're with. Because that's gonna define where you're going. If it's gonna be positive, cool, guess what? You're probably gonna move forward. Especially as a visionary and the one, the one thing that does not define us is money. Because right now in North America, I'll talk about this another day in, in greater detail, but in North America, we are trapped to the dollar, looking for the big house, the big, the big car, the big everything. All of those things, all of those material items are sucking the life out of you building your dream and your vision for yourself. You know, I, I used to have all of them, I still have most of them, and 
but I've evaluated on what's important, especially over the last couple of years. Because do you really need that $3,000 house or would you rather go down to a smaller house and focus more on developing your dream and your passion? Because that's where understanding your gift comes in. Because we're not just meant to work. We all have a gift. It's up to us to decide how we want to move forward with that. And are we going to put the work in once we find it? Because it doesn't just happen overnight. There's a lot of people. Colonel Sanders from KFC. Man, the dude was 67 years old when he was finally successful selling, selling chicken. But he was committed to his dream. Walmart started, I don't know, like 50, 50 years ago or whatever it is now. They were committed. The owners were focused on their gift. They found something that they were good at and put some time behind it because that all takes time. You don't just get to a million dollars or to a billion dollar company by waking up one morning and saying, hey, guess what? I, I got this now. That doesn't, that doesn't work. UFC, WWE, uh, Apple, Amazon, all these different places have been relentless in using the resources that they have to grow their gift. Focusing on what they're, on what they're good at, developing themselves, and understanding that there is different ways of doing things but if you're a football player, you're not gonna, typically, you're not gonna go play curling. You know, you're not gonna have the same results. So if you're gifted at something, spend some time and develop that gift because the passion and the, the fire that will come inside you is gonna be absolutely amazing. There's a couple things that I've been working on even for myself over the last couple of years. And it gets me fired up speaking live you know this gets me fired up when i'm when i'm live so it's something i've been that i've been working on each of my kids each of my three boys all have different gifts that and qualities that they like xavier absolutely is passionate about cooking and brazilian jiu-jitsu and teaching people so that's what we're focusing him on my son cohen my oldest boy He's passionate about skiing, uh, gaming, and a couple other things. So guess what? That's what he's focusing on. Don't be afraid to change it. You know, we, we can change what we do. I used to work in the oil and gas industry for 18 years. I've sold cars. I've sold insurance. Um, I started a charity. Now I've got my degree in marketing. I've been working on sales. Don't ever be afraid to try something new. That is part of our life. That is what we are supposed to do every day. Every day we're supposed to get fired up, be excited in the morning, be excited when we wake up and say, hey, guess what? I'm gonna go out and try something new today and I do not care. So say it with me, go look in the mirror if you have to. I do not care what other people say against me because here's some truth about that. Over 92% of the people are gonna put you down. That's fact. And when I was working with Imperial Oil globally, that is fact. 92 comments typically that come your way are gonna be negative. People either don't like you, um, they don't want you to succeed, they're jealous, whatever. You could go on and on and on, who cares? Worry about yourself and your inner circle. You five, five, find five supporters and don't worry about the rest. You know, I, for me personally, I've got a real tight circle and I don't care when somebody criticizes. Cool, man. I'm over it. I forgave myself for that. Do I make mistakes? Yes, absolutely. Could I go back and change a lot of things? 
yeah, I would like to, but unfortunately, we're not able to change the past, but we can on the future. And when we focus on ourselves and focus on our gifts today, and when we focus on moving forward in the future, we cut that anchor off. And we don't have to worry about what other people say. You know, the gift that you have, you owe it to yourself to be positive and to do whatever you are passionate about doing, no matter what it is. I can promise you that you should have the highest regard for yourself over anybody else in the world. You know, I love my kids and everything and I, I value myself. I look at myself, I evaluate myself every day and I have very high standards on everything I do. Some things have worked out, some things haven't. But one thing is I'm not afraid of trial and error. But that is what the difference is from quitting. Because some people will try something and they will just go and quit. And unfortunately, too many people do that. You need to keep trying it over and over and over and over again until you get to the point where you're like, yeah, you know what? This isn't me. You know, I used to play basketball with friends in school and I sucked. I was horrible, but I was quick to notice that I sucked. So it's like, okay, cool. I'm going to focus time on something else. I'm going to go do something else. Started driving, doing, doing different things through my life without fear, without worrying that something else isn't going to be there. No matter what job you have, something else is always going to be there tomorrow. You have to be confident in yourself and understand that you are the biggest driving force for your own life, no matter what, no matter what anybody says. The people that are negative, cool. Let them be negative. Can you imagine if Steve Jobs spent you know, we, we talk about careers, let's say. Can you imagine if somebody forced Steve Jobs to be an NFL coach for 30 years? Are you freaking kidding me? That doesn't work that way. We need to change our thinking. We need to evaluate who we are. If you're not happy doing what you're doing, get over the fear and go and try something else. Instead of working 15 hours a day, Maybe you work eight hours a day and spend two or three or four hours a day working on your gift instead. Do something that gets you fired up. Our life isn't Monday to Friday, go to work and then go to the bar or go party or do different things like that. You know, it's great to go out. I agree once in a while, but get fired up, figure out what your gift is and you know, be positive with yourself. When you go and look in the mirror every day, find something that you like and say, hey, guess what? Say it over and over 10 times. I don't care. What, how, say it as many times as you need to get fired up and say, hey, guess what? Yep. This is what I'm going to try something. This is what I'm going to try today. I'm going to get fired up. I'm proud of myself. I'm going to do something different. I do not care what anybody else says. because they will influence you. The negativity will influence you unless you have positive affirmations to yourself over and over and over to offset those 92%. And this will get you motivated, I can promise you, because I've tried it, I've gone through different things as well, and I'm still working. I'm not exactly sure what my gift is either, but I try something new all the time. Some things have worked out, some things don't. And you keep moving forward because you can't let the past hold you back. So with that being said, I'm gone quite a bit over what I normally do here tonight. Over the next cup, over the next uh, week, week and a half, I will be launching the Twitch channel 
the YouTube channel and the Twitter feed for Live at Five, but that's going to be a different topic. Uh, that's more on the business side. The Live at Five motivation speaking will continue to just be on my personal site. Everything else will be done through uh, the business the business page. So I hope everyone has an absolutely fantastic night. Thank you for watching. Let's go.